So, do you, a friend, a family member, anyone you may know, smoke one of these? Some call it shisha, others call it hookah, and many people are using it these days as a form of socializing. But just how bad is shisha for our health? Well, we're gonna find out. Okay, so for those of you who may not know what shisha is, or you may have seen it and you're not quite sure what it is, well, here it is. Now, to summarize, fruit flavored containing tobacco is placed in a clay pot and then it's wrapped in foil and placed on top of here. Charcoal is then placed on top of it and it heats up the tobacco. Now, when the smoker inhales from this pipe, it creates smoke and it goes into the user's lungs. So, the question is just how bad is smoking shisha? Is it as bad as smoking these, cigarettes? Well, the short answer is yes. Smoking shisha has many of the same health risks as smoking cigarettes. Just a quick note, because I know a lot of people watching this right now will think this, but what about the water at the bottom? Doesn't that filter out all the toxins? Well, I'm just gonna bust that myth for you right now, because no, it doesn't filter anything. Studies have shown that that water filters nothing. So remember this, the smoke that's produced in shishas is at least as toxic as cigarette smoke. So you are at risk of the same diseases that are associated with cigarette smoke. And if you're now wondering, well, what diseases? Well, don't worry, because I'm gonna tell you those diseases. Oral cancer, lung cancer, stomach cancer, cancer of the esophagus, reduced lung function, and even reduced fertility. Now, generally speaking, most people tend to smoke shisha socially with friends. So the average time spent smoking shisha is usually about an hour. So the question is, how much smoke will you be inhaling? Is one shisha equivalent to one cigarette and smoke? To be quite honest with you, when I read this fact, I was really shocked. And I think it's gonna shock a lot of you as well. So one puff of a shisha, so just one inhalation, is equivalent to one cigarette in smoke. Just imagine that. One puff, one cigarette. Crazy, right? So that means that for an average shisha session of one hour, you can inhale the same amount of smoke as from 100 cigarettes. Now, studies have also shown that a typical shisha session has about 25 cigarettes worth of tar and 11 cigarettes worth of carbon monoxide. And remember this, even if you're not smoking shisha, so you're just socializing with friends, other people are smoking, you're still putting yourself at risk of secondhand smoke. So you're putting your health at risk too. Now that we know some facts about the shisha, let's actually look at the shisha and learn a bit more about it. Okay, so before we actually look at the shisha, I've just got to make a slight confession. I bought the shisha for this video and it did come with a clay pot thing that goes up here and it contains the tobacco, um, but I can't find it. I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. So for the sake of this video, please imagine there's a clay pot thing here. Now, the shisha. So in this clay pot thing goes tobacco and then they cover it with foil and put charcoal along the top. Now this charcoal and foil produce things like carbon monoxide, heavy metals, and also cancer causing chemicals. And you, you inhale that, that all goes into your lungs, okay? And a common myth as well that many people say is that, oh, it's got water, the water that goes in here, because the, the air flows from there and it goes all the way through here, through the water and then through the pipe into your lungs. Now a lot of people think, seem to think that this water filters all of these harmful chemicals and you're left with something pure and nice that's good for you. But in reality, studies have shown that this water doesn't filter anything. And another point that I'd like to make is about the shisha pipe itself. Now please remember, this shisha pipe is communal. So everyone smoking the shisha is using this pipe. So it spreads loads of infections, and one of the most common infections is actually oral herpes. And I'm pretty sure nobody wants oral herpes. Also, another study that I read not long ago about smoking shisha is just like smoking cigarettes, it stiffens your arteries. And when you stiffen your arteries, you're more at risk of getting clogs in your arteries and heart disease. And again, nobody wants heart disease. Now, I do know people that smoke shisha, and unfortunately, it's still seen as a less harmful alternative to smoking cigarettes. But I really hope this video has helped make things clear that smoking shisha is harmful for you. So please tell your friends, tell your loved ones, tell your family, tell everyone, because you now know the facts. And if you are struggling to quit smoking shisha or quit smoking cigarettes, well, the good news is that the NHS have loads of support and advice for anybody who's wanting to quit. So I will leave more information about this in the description below. Please check it out. Always remember that you're awesome and I will see you next week. This pipe is probably used in a shisha cafe by so many people and people are inhaling from it and it's all of these diseases are being spread like oral herpes. It's really not good for you. Look at these diseases. Oral cancer, stomach cancer, lung cancer, cancer of the esophagus, reduced respiratory flow, and even, resp <laughs> that was a long take. Took a lot of my breath at that take. 
took my breath away like shisha. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.